abstinence syndrome, NAS, is a result of fetal exposure to used or abused substances during pregnancy. Unfortunately, the condition is on the rise in the United States. When treating infants with NAS, identifying opportunities to wean and reducing length of treatment and stay benefit the patient, family, and health system. Recognizing this importance, Thomas Jefferson University Hospital developed an NAS pharmacologic algorithm. It is a protocol created by the organization's multidisciplinary group of neonatologists, pediatricians, nurses, practitioners, medical residents, pharmacists, and administration. The algorithm gives clear recommendations for weaning the neonatal morphine solution, or NMS dose, every 12 to 24 hours. To increase NMS dosage efficiency, Jefferson began utilizing one milliliter oral syringes instead of the previous bulk bottles. And to ensure the staff was on board, Jefferson's team was educated on the new algorithm. The protocol approach has produced important NAS treatment outcomes. Missed opportunities to wean decreased from 18.21 to 5.98. Length of treatment was reduced from 35.89 to 22.74 days. And time of stay went from 41.66 to 30.14 days. These stats also signify lowered healthcare costs, less infant exposure to opioid therapy, and shortened separation between parent and child. For their work to improve quality outcomes through standardized care, we are thrilled to acknowledge Thomas Jefferson University Hospital as the second place recipient of the 2016 Delaware Valley Patient Safety and Quality Award.